All right, this is um, HD video test for the D90. Um, I have this camera for a while now, and I haven't really used this video mode too often because it has one huge weakness, which is that it does not have autofocus, and that's a huge problem when it comes to video, especially when the subject is moving all over the place. So this is kind of like a, almost like a proof of concept to see how well the camera works in terms of video. I have a few video projects coming up, and it'd be great if I can use this camera, but if the um, lack of autofocus is such a big deal, I might have to upgrade or figure something else out. So we'll see. I'm just gonna let the camera run a little bit and take a look at the footage afterwards and see how it fares. Uh, since we're looking at clowns, <laughs> well, they're not in there right now, but um, might as well talk a little bit about them. These guys I got as babies, they were like half an inch. And I have them for, I'll say, roughly maybe two months now. I mean, it's not long. Um, they're probably like 0.75 inches now, and they are kind of pairing off. Although you, you do see kind, of, you do see them separated from time to time, but for the most part, they're in pretty close proximity. So one should turn to female soon. And we we clearly see one dominant ones, which actually stay in do stay in these two rows of enemies, and then one kind of drift in and out in the background. That one's being bullied a little bit, and the good thing is that he found refuge in the frog spot, so he's not homeless. And the homing sound you hear in the background is actually um, Vortec MP40, which I got not too long ago. Love it. It's, power, it's basically the only power head I have for the 65 gallon tank right now, and it's, it's doing its job. That's all I need. And it really cleans up, cleans up the tank well. Before this, I got like three power heads, and it's pretty ridiculous seeing all the all the bulk in there. Um, inside the frame on the left hand side you can also see a uh, purple gorgonians. It's doing pretty well. I mean it's not growing as fast as I would like but it's growing which is a good sign. <laughs> it, it is photosynthetic. One way you can tell is that you see brown polyps coming out. Oh look at that. Oh no I can't see it. I have a um, major trigger in the back as well. Tiny little guy probably like 2.5 inches but it's a little camera shy. Anyway, once again, this test is to see um, how the video performed with the lack of autofocus. I'm just locking the focus in one spot, and I want to see if the quality of the footage worth the trouble of trying to kind of like rethink my shots so that the subject is stable instead of walking around. At least stable in terms of like distance from the camera. See if we can figure something out. All right, I think we have enough of uh, just <laughs> little clownfish darting in and out. I promise you, in maybe um, a year or so. The video will be so much more interesting when the two clownfish actually pair up and start having like mating ritual. That's when it gets fun. Oh, by the way, the little white antenna thing at the bottom of the screen, that, um, that's my clean shrimp. Alright, that should be enough for the footage. Let's see what I've got.